Go. As a nation, we fought together for our independence. As a nation, we collectively created the country's deficit. And as a nation, we must come together to pay off our debt. Individually, we are weak, but united, we are strong. In order to ensure economic stability and success for America, vote Hamilton. Thomas Jefferson has said a national bank will break down the most fundamental and ancient laws of several states. He said, I am not a friend to a very energetic government, and his interests are only in the South. Are these the true qualities you want for our young nation? Thomas Jefferson is someone who only looks out for himself and the benefits of his friends, but there is a solution. Alexander Hamilton is the right choice for a leader of a new nation. Praising the industrial development, he sponsored a national mint to unify the nation, one mint for one nation. It will improve the economy and still give power to the states, but allow the federal government to pay back debt and strengthen the nation. Alex Hamilton is the right choice. One name, one nation. I'm Alexander Hamilton, and I approve this message. Debt. War. Anarchy. This is where Jefferson will lead us. When the British began to seize ships, Washington was quick to sign a treaty with them. Our president has chosen to make peace over going to war and increasing our debt. Jefferson's way? Join with the French against Britain? He wants another war. While Hamilton is being stoned in New York for defending the cry for peace between Britain and America, Jefferson is quoted saying, curse on Washington's virtues. They have undone our country. Have mercy on those who vote for a man who would say such things about the decisions of our president? Vote Hamilton and he will keep our country on the right path. Most people think by Hamilton supporting the Alien and Sedation Act was a way to regain popularity of the Federalist Party. But Hamilton is really trying to help our country become a better, secure nation. The purpose of the Alien and Sedation Acts was to avoid the rumored French invasion and any other foreign enemies. These acts totally disregarded the views of the Republican Party, causing Jefferson to protest in the K Kentucky Resolution. This proves Jefferson doesn't really care about our country, just his popularity and political party. Vote Hamilton. When our nation is in trouble, deep in debt, and under distress, Hamilton can make the tough calls. He placed a tax on whiskey, using the money to take us towards a clean slate. As a young nation, remaining under this burden is nothing short of shameful and dangerous. It makes us weak. And when the whiskey boys retaliated by burning, beating, tar, and feathering tax collectors, Hamilton took care of the situation by putting the mobsters under the watch of militiamen. Jefferson calls this unnecessary, but Hamilton is leading us towards the nation that we gained our independence to become. Hamilton is a man who believes in law and order. We all want the freedom of speech, and with Hamilton you get that. However, there, have to be some, there has to be some limit. Without limitation, free speech has the potential to go too far. If it goes too far, there will be inner conflict and potential war in the states. For example, slaves. If the North is allowed to speak against the South, or vice versa, it will escalate into war. If freedom of speech is at its full potential, the country will collapse from the inside. We all know our country cannot afford another war, especially for petty disagreements. When Jefferson proposes the full freedom of speech, he proposes internal war and conflict. Do we really want a man like this to run our country? On the matter of religion, Hamilton is not an atheist. Hamilton is a deist and believes strongly in God. For my own part, I sincerely esteem it a system which without the finger of God never could have been suggested and agreed upon by such a diversity of interests. Hamilton is striving for freedom of religion so the minority is no longer put down because of their beliefs. When the shackles are taken off of religion, America will become a prosperous country.